Hey y'all, uh, I'm going to the chicken coop to let y'all see um, the little ones this morning. Okay, so here they all are. They're all getting so big. See those? Those were the second batch. They're so big, so big. And they're filling out with really dark brown feathers. They're looking good. I'm not sure if any of them will want to come over here. Look at the girls. They still have water and feed. Cheep, 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 cheep. Oh, here's Dolly. Good morning, Dolly. Good morning, Dolly. I think that's Dolly. Hey, Dolly. Hey. Hey. She might not. Look at all of them. They're so curious as to why she's up here. Here she is. I know y'all can't see me very well, but that's okay. You can see her going around. <laughs> hey, little girl. She's so cute. They're so just crazy about um, new things. They're very into what's new right now. What is this? They want to see. Like, I laid my phone um, on the ground and they were like, what is happening? Here she is. Like, she wants to see what you are. She will, they peck at it to see if it's new, what's going on with it. And they're very cautious, just in case it'll hurt them, you know, because chickens are not very, <laughs> they're not very strong animals. They're kind of little. Oh, no, I have two on me. Oh, I had two on me. You couldn't see it. Sorry. I tried to get you back there, but anyway. Yeah. This little Dolly, she loves it. Hey, Dolly. Hey, Dolly. Yes, hey. Hmm. Okay, so remember me telling you my mom told me I needed to get that stuff up. Yeah, I should be embarrassed by the amount of grass that's in the garden. <laughs> well, I am kind of, but then my my hatred for hoeing overdoes it sometimes. Until now, I started the other day. I do have to go around each plant and like um, do it like just weed it myself because I didn't want to get the hoe too close to the plant to damage it but I'll show you what I've done okay see this needs to be done again already we did it last week do you see how fast this grass grows and this I did um Monday yeah I did this Monday and see that's how it was this is how it is now and this around the plants I'm gonna have to get with that <clears throat> so we have the rest of this row this full row this little piece of a row and that little piece of a row to do and Jake and I, I think we're gonna do it together it'll make it move faster but I want to show you the fruits that I have on my plants right now um, in spite of like me growing it basically out in the middle of my yard a pasture i have several cucumbers growing there's no big ones on this yet there's a big one now i don't know really when to pull these i know a lot of stuff just kind of loosens up when it's time for you to pull it but i don't know if this is one of those things i've pulled cucumbers before but i'm trying to do it right and the one we pulled the other day there's a little guy it was it was good but it was not as ripe as it should be oh i have a little bee in my garden i hate bees y'all know i hate bees but they're good for my plants there's two on this one one right there one right there two big ones and there's lots of little ones growing so i'm not real um look at this fat boy like what in the world i guess i'm gonna have to keep him on here a long time just different there's one so we'll have to keep him on here a long time i guess if he's going to be big gigantic like that oh here's the little dead one i think pull it off here's one i thought there were more than one on this one 
I don't guess so. Anyway, that's the cucumbers right now. The um, sweet potatoes are out there. They're just moving along. Jake's little pepper plant has one pepper on it so far and some little blooms. Um, I'll do the okra and the... Here's bell pepper. They're growing. There'll be another one on there. Okra's looking okay. This bell pepper didn't have anything on it. This one. Um, you see this right here? These are little okras growing in. Jake said this is a weed. It doesn't look like a weed to me. I don't know what it is. It probably is a weed. Growing in my garden, obviously, or grass. Bell pepper. Squash. This little... See that little thing right there? That's a squash. And here's my big bell pepper. Big for my plant, you know. Look at my little okra growing in. It's looking good. This one has... This one has two bell peppers on it. More blooms. And these have just little baby okras on them. And this has little blooms and a little... So, that'll be good for that. Zucchinis. Let's see about them. This one doesn't have anything on it. I know I'm not really doing a good job at showing you the plant. That one has nothing. See, it rained out here the other day, and I was going to get out here and hoe today. But do you see? This mud is like clay. Look at my boot. It just sticks, and it's nasty. There's a good-size zucchini. There's a good-size zucchini. Whoa. Guys, I just about busted it out here. I'd have been so mad. All right. This mud, all it is is just sticky clay nastiness. But whatever that one's got some little bitty things on it but nothing real big this one i mean from what i could understand like my squash didn't have a lot on it and it wouldn't grow because it's not being pollinated correctly or you know whatever that's what they say see I'm growing up any cute my little bean plants i guess these are little bean things starting to come up little bean things I don't know. and see when you get down here it doesn't look like it's not as bad as it looks on camera I don't think because it there are spots of dirt it looks like it is just it looks like this but it's really like that so see it look it might look like that when I first show you the garden but then everything's like this it's not completely completely covered in grass I mean it's enough and it's really covered but you know these are our cherry tomatoes has little clusters on them so he's doing good and our pear tomato plant look at this guy he's got stuff everywhere like all kinds of little clusters they're so cute and some of these we have to tie back this one's got like four or five tomatoes on it. This one, this one is the a better boy tomato. So is this one. He's got one giant one that we're working on. No blossom in rot, which is good. That's got one on it. He's got some blooms on him. Um, I don't think he has anything. No blooms nothing like he's just kind of chilling out right here this is a better boy i think this is my cherokee purple tomato i love these tomatoes they're so good we got some more blooms up top and from what i heard somebody say it helps to pollinate the flowers like if you see the flowers just give them a little wiggle and it pollinates them better See, like these, just kind of wiggle them. There's a tomato on there. Sometimes I just shake the whole plant. There's a little, where did, I, where did it go? A, a little one. This is a big flower. That's one of those flowers that Roots and Refuge was talking about, I think, that grows a funky looking fruit. This one has several, I'm sorry, Bee. 
Good, do your job, B. They have several little ones. That one's got a bigger one. Um, it'll be several days. This one has a nice one grown on it. Like I said, it'll still be several days before it's ready. And this one has some startups, but nothing big. Now my chives over here, we moved them so they would get more water. They're starting to come up and looking good. Let's see. And then this are my purple bean plants. And they are getting pretty and big and stuff like that. So there you go. So, no, my garden isn't perfect. No, I do not hoe it every day. I don't have the time to hoe it every day because Jake and I both work. No, it is not something that I'm giving up on. I love doing this. Like, it brings me joy to do this kind of stuff. And it makes... We work harder at home than we do at work. Well, I do. And I love doing that more than anything else. Like, that's what brings me peace of joy. And for the most part, that's what simplifies my life more. Um, a lot of people don't understand... Why would you raise chickens? Why don't you just go buy the eggs from the store? You can do that. And it and sure, it's probably cheaper in the long run to do that. But, I'm out of breath, sorry. The quality of eggs is not the same. You know where your chickens come from. You know what kind of stuff they're fed. You know that they're taken care of and they have space to run and free range at times and stuff like that where... You don't know about those store-bought eggs. You don't know if those chickens are cramped into one little box just made to lay eggs. And as soon as their production stops, they're killed. Which is fine. But I like the fact that I know where my food comes from and what I've put on it and what I need to do to it. I, I like that. And I like that if something like um, what happened during COVID with the toilet paper. I'm not raising my own toilet paper. So <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. But. Um, and like the scare of the meat shortage, I know that, um, I have what I need. My family has what they need. Jake's, like my parents have what they need. Jake's parents have what they need. That's why we're doing this because we want that kind of life. We want that kind of simple life and not everybody does. And that is fine. Convenience is a big deal, but and we've lived off convenience for a long time, but we've always longed for something like this. And this is kind of what, it's kind of where we're starting. And that's, weenie. <laughs> and that's where we're starting and it's okay. And it's okay that we're moving slow because we're going to grow. And I just encourage every one of you, um, one, to leave comments just to help us out. Because you guys know we, we don't really know what we're doing. But, you know, if you have some um, information on something that could help us out or somebody else, leave it in the comments. Like, we should all try to help each other in something like this and whatever we're wanting to do. And, I mean, I encourage you just to try something new. Even if it's to buy a five-gallon bucket and put one tomato plant in it and grow those tomatoes, I guarantee you those tomatoes will taste better if you if it lives. If it's like me, you're gonna, it's a 50-50 shot. But if that tomato plant lives and produces tomatoes, they'll be the best tasting tomatoes that you've ever had. And not because you grew it in some kind of magical soil, that's important, but it's because you grew it. And you, it was your work that did that. And obviously God's work. But like your hands put that in there. You picked the tomato. You you cared for it. And it's always better. Sandwiches I know are different. Because it seems like they're always better when somebody else makes them. But you get where I'm going with that. So anyway guys. Just do that. And I'll end this video this morning. And I'll post it today. Which is Thursday. Um... But just remember, just try something, anything, even if it's going, I know a girl who's going because she doesn't have time or the space to, um, she doesn't have the time, I think, I'm not sure if she has a space or not, I don't know why I said that, 
but she doesn't have the, the time to grow it herself because they're both frontline workers and they're um, at work a lot. And she went to all these farmer's markets, and she bought all these vegetables, and she's putting them up herself. If that's what you do, it's still going to taste better because you did the work putting it up. So just one little step, guys, one little step towards a more self-sufficient life, if that's something that your heart desires, no matter where you live. Like I told you, Roots and Refuge, I'll link them below. Like, I, she doesn't know me from Adam, but I just love her channel, and I grow and know so much more for watching her. She has all kinds of videos for all kinds of different things. And this weekend, we'll plant some things. Um, we'll take you along for that. Finish hoeing the garden, because I don't think I'm going to be able to hoe anything in that clay mess. So, anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment. I love to read comments. I don't get very many, but that's okay. The ones I do get, I appreciate greatly. So, just leave a comment. And I had a guy comment the other day about his zucchini plant. And I was so excited that somebody else um, was doing something. And I had something in common with somebody out there. So, just drop a comment or two and... We'll all learn from each other, but we'll see you next time. Bye.